Welcome back. Today we are talking with people who are defying the odds. And you may be surprised to find out how much our next guest has had the odds stacked against him. Grammy-nominated country music star Ty Herndon has rocked the hot country charts for almost three decades with four number one hits like What Mattered Most and Living in a Moment. But this past summer, Ty made headlines, headlines that I saw and called my team about when he opened up about his addiction to crystal meth and how he almost took his own life just weeks after appearing on our show in December 2020. His latest album is titled Jacob. It was released in July and it gives us a raw look at the dark times and also reveals how Ty's faith saved his life. I'm so happy to have Ty back with us today. Please welcome to the show, Ty Herndon. <laughs> Take you these know, guys home with me. Oh man, it's like <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. You know, I was on break over the summer, getting yes. ready for this season four. Turned on my phone. Thank you. <laughs> Turned on my phone, and I saw your name, and I saw the headlines. Yes. I called my team and I said, "You got to check on him. Let's find out how he's doing." That meant a lot to me. I got tissues in here because I know you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just so I, I I feel so loved, and I feel so supported. I don't think I ever knew how much. I was loved. And, you know, that's part of, you know, we're, we're, I always have this saying, uh, check on people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now. How old were you when you realized that you were dealing with mental health? I don't like the word issues, but that you needed to get help for the battle of mental illness. 59. You were 59. <laughs> when you were a guest on our show, uh, back in December 2020, to know that a few weeks after that, you yes. almost took your own life. I've watched the clip. Oh, I'm going to show you all the clip. Let me play a clip when you were on the show, because I've watched it 100 times, trying to look for signs. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Kristen and I have been talking about doing something together, and it just was the right time for this song, because we just felt like the, the, the world needed a big hug. You were talking about a yeah. song you were working with with our friend Kristen Chenoweth yes, for the holidays. The yes. whole spirit was the world needed a big hug. Yeah, and I needed one most, most of all. Absolutely. And, and that was just coming from me internally. So... Uh, what do you see when you see that clip? I see a guy who had a lot of trauma going on in his life. And it's like tar and feathers. It gets pushed down. And until you can break through that, mm -hmm. um, you're never going to be anything but an actor. So you were putting on the mask, because I remember yes. us laughing, and we're yeah. talking about holidays, and it was just a beautiful experience with Kristen, and but you were having this mask. Yes, it's always been there, Yeah. but I tore half of it off when I got when and, I came out. And you had had a relapse at that time? No, no, the relapse had happened earlier. I just, you know, it's one thing, interesting thing about, about drugs and alcohol, when, the, when you start dealing with your mental issues, you find out, I found out pretty quickly that it had really little to do with the drugs and alcohol. Mm. Those were just masking. Uh, the masking, the medicine, mm -hmm. really. I think it's something that's powerful that you've done in this conversation, and, and even my mind is curve corrected. It's the, we can talk about addiction all day, yeah. but in reality, you were dealing with a mental health crisis, and yes. you were treating yourself exactly with the drug. Yes. Yes, because I was in so much pain and, um, you know, it was just, I had done all this to, to be in a business that I love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right down to getting married and, and just, just all of it was just, uh, there was no truth mm -hmm. in it for me. You know, and I, I grew up with this great mama, great grandmama, and, you know, yeah. truth is a big deal in my family. So I was finding elements of truth where I could. But so when you look at that interview, I also still see, I still saw, hi, hi mama. That's your mom. Yeah, sweet mama. That's Mama Peggy. I was told, you know, that she, you know, is having a health issue. And I thought, well, how does that affect you when you are battling to stay sober, when you are dealing with your mental yes. health? And then that's your rock. My rock is in the audience. My mom yes. is here. And your rock, yes. Yes. you know, Listen, is not well. I am so grateful. You know, if she goes to see Jesus, I know she saw me at my best. Oh. If she, and, if, and I'm grateful to show up for my mom, you know, be able to be there. So, yes. When we come back, Ty's going to stay with us and, and tell us how the biblical character Jacob 
and his mama inspired him to get back up and not make that choice. Unfortunately, so many people feel they have to after the break. Welcome back. Today we've been talking to people about how they defied the odds to live the life of their dreams, their golden life. Country music artist Ty Herndon has been taking us behind the scenes of his extraordinary success and revealing what was really going on in some of his deeply personal and painful moments of his life, moments that nearly cost him his life. Ty, before the break, we were talking about you were on the show it was 17 days after and you were admitted into a rehab center by a friend, an ex-partner. Do you count days? Do you, how we, does that work? We do, you, we do count days. And, and the, the program of Alcoholic Anonymous, which is, everything's under that umbrella, right. um, it's, it is anonymity first, mm -hmm. you know, and we, we kind of shy away sometimes from time, mm -hmm. just because you want, don't want someone to think they've got all these rules that you have to be this amount of time. Right. But I, you know, I'm, I'm 21 months yesterday. 18, <laughs> thank you. When you think back to the moment, and I know you're going to perform for us later, God or the Gun, that oh. you look at all of the love that you've received now, that the idea that you could have ended your life. Yes. I've called it now a walk of calmness hmm. because I entered a place in my mind that I had done well in life. I had legacy in music. You know, mom was okay at the time. My, my nephew was starting college. Um, it just, I was so calm. It just, it, in my mind, because things weren't right, um, it was a very calm day. Um, I was making plans. And I remember, you know, for me, I was talking to God all day. You know, I was just, I, I have. You said in the song, you prayed so long you went numb. Yeah. What were you praying for? An answer. Yes. To because what? To the pain. Oh. To the silent pain. That's the thing about it. Um, when the silence is that deadly and that painful, um, it's crippling. Yeah. And you can only swim upstream so long um, for a career, for a life, for a love. You, you're going to drown. How did you defy the odds? You know, <laughs> there was an angel making a phone call, which you hear in this song a little bit later. I've got some, I've got some strong angels around me, and, uh, you know, uh, it's true. There was a phone call. My my phone was over on the couch. I was sitting over by my in the floor by my grand piano, and you guys have heard foghorns before. How loud they are! I've never heard a phone ring that loud in my life. It was so loud. The phone ring was so loud that it that it shook me out of it. You had and, the gun. Um, I had I had uh, uh, the symbolism of the gun. Yes, it was pills for me. Yeah, and um, I got up out of the floor and I and I walked over and. Um, um, this is where the angel part comes in. And when she and I had the conversation, we, neither one of us argued that neither one of us called. And there was this phone that rang very loudly. And uh, yes, there you go. And we got another sweet lady on the phone that got me laughing, <laughs> that got me to flush the pills. And when you lay it all out and look at it, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's what I've stood for my whole life. It's 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 the Pentecostal in me. It's the it's the it's the high note at the end of a song. It's um, it's it's the harmony that what your life should feel. What role did Jacob play in this? Oh, Jacob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a spiritual advisor, and when I went into treatment, I had made a decision. You know, probably wasn't in the best place to make any decisions at that time. But in my mind, I had done a great job with music. I had I had I had a pretty cool career. And I wanted to do something else. I just I couldn't chase that. I didn't yeah. know how to chase it right. um, authentically. Mm -hmm. And so I just made a decision. I, I was not going to do it anymore. I could find yeah. something else to do. And my second day, I sat down with my spiritual advisor. And he said, I uh, took a sip of his coffee. Uh, Mr. Clint's his name. And he said, hey, you know that story of Jacob in the Bible? I said, I'm very familiar. <laughs> he goes, that's you, man. Wow. He goes, you know, uh, we, he wrestled with God, and we know how that's going to end up. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to win, y'all. <laughs> yeah. But in the most beautiful and perfect way, um, God can cripple you, bruise you, and then when you get back up, you can be a soldier. Yeah. And in this passage, it says that he went out and became a, became a leader in his tribe. Mm -hmm. 
And for me, that spoke to me so loudly. And I is that your goal? Because I know it, this is suicide prevention. <laughs> is your goal to be a leader to help people who are struggling? I didn't know it was going to be my goal. I know that I was called to preach at an early age. So my mama says, well, you get to be that preacher teacher now, son, and which is amazing. So, yes. Oh, yeah. And I know you have this, a podcast soundboard where you talk to celebrities about mental health and yes. struggles. I think we have a clip. Let's play. Yeah. We're all about turning up the positive voices and turning down the negative. Now, listen, you know, I, I know you've been through some stuff. I know that I've been through some stuff. Um, and we have to get our footing, man. And those negative voices can sure take over. Ooh. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Have you yeah. shut down the negative voices in your head? I'm listening right now. I don't hear any. <laughs> You are so real. I mean, you are, you are. And I, and I see the humor. I see where it's healing. I see where you're still deflecting, but I also see mm -hmm. your heart. Thank and you I so know much. you're Thank on the right path and we're going to keep so praying for you. And I know they don't like to say that on TV, but I'm going to keep you in my prayers. Take the prayers. Absolutely. And oh, we love you. you so, so much.